the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to- There are no void earbuds, uh, they normally come with plastic casings that's one thing I don't like about the Lenovo Ideapods, yeah? But nonetheless, uh, because this is a great machine, we'll have to ignore the fact that it's a plastic, the casing is plastic, because at the end of the day, you have to take care of your laptop. Either if it is made of magnesium alloy, it's metallic, or it's plastic, you have to take good care of it. So, once again, you can see here, we have the, let me just turn in this idea. And see we have the idea part gaming uh, label there this is how this head looks like and then we have the Lenovo icon right there again just beneath the screen we have another Lenovo idea part gaming uh, naming there you can see here we have the stickers the keyboard the screen so before we get into closer details of the keyboard and everything let's just have a look at the ports as usual because this is the gaming machine so we are more interested in the ports because as usual you know if you're gaming maybe you'll be using pads you'll have to plug in a lot of things at the ports maybe to extend the display so you need to have a look at the display at the ports sorry so on the right hand side we have ventilation port right here we have two usb 3.1 ports here we have the audio jack combo and the microphone port right here you can see how it is then we have the led icon here for indicating that the laptop is on yeah one thing that i don't like uh, from this side is this ventilation port right here and i'll tell you why in the next few minutes then on the left hand side we have another ventilation port right here we have the charging port so this is the charging port it's of the usb type So this is how it looks like, you can see, so the yellow pin for USB Lenovo, this is where it goes through, and then this is how the charger looks like, yeah. So this charger is of about 135 watts, you can see there, 135 watts charger, it's a fast charging, and because it's a gaming machine, it needs a lot of power, especially when you're using it maybe to game, the laptop draws so much power, that's why you need a bigger charger for this machine. Then we have the RJ45 port here, we have HDMI 4.1 port here, we have Type-C port. So uh, we realize that this laptop comes only with two USB 3.1 ports here, only two USB ports, but we have a USB-C port and HDMI port is so crucial. So now I was talking about the ventilation. We have ventilation this side and this side. So what does that mean? It means that uh, if you have a closer look at the bottom part, you have a bigger ventilation port here for inflow of air through the laptop and uh, it means that we have two fans there's a one fan here inside the laptop another one right here you can see where there's a lot of dust yeah so we have another fan here and one here so the disadvantage of having this fan on the right hand side now it means that when you're using the laptop maybe let's say with a the mouse then you'll get distracted by the heat being emanated from the laptop right on this slot so maybe you'll have to use the mouse far away from the laptop that's why in most of the laptops you only have the ventilation placed right on the left hand side or on this other side the top edge of the laptop so that's something that i think i didn't like about it but 
that's not an issue for a gaming machine because now on the inner part uh, we have the keyboard this is how the keyboard looks like yeah you have the feel of the keyboard is nice traveling distance you can see how it is this is how the keyboard looks like then you have this pacing here for keyboard for gaming anything to do with gaming realize the keyboard these mostly directional keys have to be given some space and that's what they've done here which i highly recommend we have the numerical keys which maybe you can configure to for gaming in own ways uh, then again it comes with a backlit keyboard you can see we have the backlit icon right here so as per now it's off but uh, you can turn it on through pressing control okay sorry fan so if you use the fan to turn it on see uh, the backlit is on and you can control the brightness levels just by pressing on the fan again on the backlight you can see it's getting a bit dull then goes off so it has three levels uh, we have the trackpad is as big not as small as we have in the other uh, laptops because this is a gaming machine so we need bigger trackpad to use it uh, sufficiently and efficiently yeah this is how the screen is it's frameless you can see from here the frameless screen we have camera shutter right here so no need of placing a solid or a sticker right here to hide the camera because you have the shutter you see now it's off then here it's enabled yeah we'll test the camera quality later later on then again right here we have ventilation slots you can see here so in terms of ventilation this machine has proper ventilation because uh, if you're doing gaming or things that are so demanding then you'll need proper uh, ventilation so that the laptop doesn't overheat yeah and uh, you don't experience lag or crashing while doing what you love doing most then just to have a look at the screen resolution and everything so as usual if you want to see the screen resolution just go to the screen then right click on the screen then come to display settings right there so at the display setting uh, I don't know if it's visible here, yeah. you can see we have a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 then refresh rate, refresh rates, you know, sorry so just come to the advanced here uh, you can see we have a refresh rate of about 120 hertz yeah, right there which is so recommended for a gaming laptop then the brightness levels are good too because we have around 300 nits of brightness level here which is so crucial too for a gaming laptop so if i just adjust the brightness levels you can see how bright the screen is and then we always have something that we call anti-glare on the screen so anti-glare is something that uh, it's like anti-reflective capability of the screen ability to reflect light may maybe when you're using it somewhere that uh, you have so much sunlight uh, directed towards the screen of the laptop how good can it absorb the light yeah so that it doesn't reflect on your face so you can see we have i have light coming on top on this side and you can see we have a friends and tube there uh, and right there you can see uh, it can how good it reflects the light yeah it absorbs the light sorry so you see uh, that's something i think it's not so good because it's somehow reflecting the light still instead of absorbing so in terms of absorbing okay anti-glaring uh, capability is not so good not so recommendable but again it's a gaming laptop so maybe at the time you'll be using it you won't be using it outside where there's so much sunlight now let's get to see the internal properties of this laptop and before we get to see the internal properties i was forgetting to talk about the keyboard the trackpad sorry uh, you realize the trackpad you don't have the click pads right here but they are they are somehow invisible yeah you can see you have right clicking right here left clicking there and then something i like about the trackpad is that uh, it supports multi-touch gestures and what do i mean by that so for example let's assume you've opened something like chrome so we have chrome open then let's say we search for something like lenovo yeah lenovo yeah so we have there yeah. so what i like about the trackpad here is that uh, it supports multi gesture fixtures uh, features number one you can scroll with your two fingers just on the screen like this you can scroll your two fingers 
and if you want to zoom out or anything again you can use your two fingers to to zoom supposed to work yeah so you see you can zoom with your two fingers you can see what's happening on the screen yeah if you want to zoom anything if you want to just use your two fingers then if you want to change the tabs use your three fingers to change tabs then you have you can change to an extra tab that you want Then now to see all the features of this machine, I know that's the, mo that's the most interesting part and the part that we've been waiting for for the longest part of this video. So just come to Control Shift Escape, and then uh, come to the Performance tab right here, Performance tab there. Let me just maximize it. Yeah. So the Performance tab, as usual. Now we start with the CPU now. So for the CPU, you see it's an 11th gen processor, Core i7, 11370H. H to mean it's a it's a processor to handle heavy tasks. Yeah, then each uh, CPU has a base speed of 3.30 hertz. You can see here the base speed is 3.3 gigahertz. Sorry, and then the number of cores we have four cores and then eight logical processors on this one. The memory now, memory we have 16 GB of RAM. You can see there, and uh, the form factor is sodium. Sodium to mean that uh, you have 16 GB of RAM here, but you can upgrade it to 32 GB because sodium means you have two RAMs, yeah? Slots use two slots out of two. So it means one slot has 8 GB of RAM, another slot has 8 GB of RAM. So it's expandable. So you can expand it to 32 GB or even if you can get 32 GB single DDR4 RAM, you can upgrade it to 64 GB. And each RAM has a speed of 32 megahertz. Then disk we have, the first disk we have here, you can see. Sorry, there. It's of capacity. You can see it's uh, one terabyte. Then the second disk there, we have a Samsung. Yeah, SSD. From capacity, you can see it's uh, 256 GB SSD. Type is SSD. Then Wi-Fi. We have Intel Wi-Fi 6 adapter. GPU. We have two good graphic cards here. One is integrated with the GPU integrated graphic card that is the Intel Hi-Res XE graphics. You can see it's of 8 GB integrated graphic card. And then this is the most the strongest part of this laptop now that you can see here. It has a GPU of uh, NVIDIA RTX 3050 a laptop GPU. Yeah. It comes with the uh, you can see the dedicated now GPU usage here we have it's 4 GB. So it's an NVIDIA graphic card of 4 GB and uh, it supports the DirectX 12 version, you can see there. Yeah, so the graphic card that we have on this laptop, this one, is the most important part or the most important uh, feature of this Lenovo idea part that separates it from the rest. And uh, it's a graphic card that can handle a lot of tasks. You can do gaming with it, you can do video editing, video rendering, uh, uh, projects like AutoCAD, and uh, there's so many things that you can do with this laptop. Remember, I've not tested the speakers, but we equally have good speakers here because for a gaming laptop, you have to have good speakers have to have good keyboard like i said earlier the keyboard is good the traveling distance it has backlight i wish it had the rgb keyboard but uh that's a story for another day there's a similar version that comes with an rgb keyboard so maybe at the time of purchasing you can decide to go with one with rgb or you just get one with plain white color like this one so much has been said let's just have a closer look at the camera i'm not going to attach the video here but maybe you can see it from far how good it is so now we have the lock here the shutter is on and then maybe you can turn it off from here you can see yeah so you can see how good the camera is and you can see it's sharp yeah it doesn't lag and to test the camera quality I see here from settings just come to the settings camera settings then 
okay for the photo setting see the camera quality you have a 0 0.9 megapixel camera of around 1280 by 720 and then the video quality that you can record with this camera is 720 that is at 30 fps so in terms of camera rating i think the camera is not that good because i would expect it to have a camera of around 1080p because of the price value on this machine it's so expensive and uh just from the look of everything just to close off the review, I feel in terms of ventilation, they have really worked on it. In terms of the GPU we have installed, it's so good. Now, the only weakness we have here is that the screen anti glaring capability is so low, and the camera quality is not that good. But the speakers, everything is just okay. Now that we've come to the close of the video, if you found this video so useful and uh, maybe it will make you change your mind on your next gaming laptop purchase or it won't, don't forget to comment and add anything that you feel I've left out. Let us know what you think about this review. See you next time on another review video just like this one.